Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iOS Today is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. All the news you can fit on your iPhone. And Black Panther's here on your iPad. <laughs> and if you wanted to pretend you have an iPhone 10 and you've got $150 burning a hole in your pocket, <laughs> I'll show you how. It's time for iOS Today. iOS Today is brought to you by Wink, the best way to discover new wines you'll love. Go to trywink.com slash iOS to get $20 off your first shipment. And by Lighthouse. With 3D and AI, Lighthouse is the only camera that gets your busy life at home. Get 15% off a Lighthouse camera with a promo code TWIT at light.house. <laughs> what, do they paint a notch? <laughs> <laughs> today time hello megan maroney hello, Leo Laporte. you look great today you Thank had a nice you. weekend i did i had a great weekend Good. one of my sons was in a play he memorized all of his lines what was his play uh it's called the greek mythology olympaganza oh that was at the cinnabar theater yes. i've been seeing the advertisements yes. for that yeah and um Olymp yeah olympaganza yeah it's like greek mythology which, but um, which god did uh, he play he played narrator too <laughs> um, which that's a prime uh, role. Yeah, it it was. Um, he was kind of played a doofusy role. Um, Fun. Did he enjoy it? He did. Yes. Another yeah. little performer. Another mm -hmm. little Maroni performer mm -hmm. in the works. Mm -hmm. And your weekend? Uh, well, I don't really have a weekend. Oh, but you went to South by Southwest for your weekend. Briefly, we went to South by Southwest. We had a great time. Uh, Stacy Higginbotham and I had a panel on security that I think was really good. We wanted to kind of do the opposite of our Security Now show and just talk about real-world security for practical people. And it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and then uh, we had some barbecue, and then I didn't eat for three days. And then, and then it's time for iOS today. Yes, it is. We talk about, in addition to the Greeks and the Austinites, we talk about iPhones and Apple Watches. And, and iPads. iPads. And Apple TV. Yes. All of which we consider iOS. Today we're going to talk about using your iOS devices for news. Mm -hmm. And some, some big news. Uh, one of our sponsors, Texture, which is how we'll, both of us get a lot of our news, especially our magazine news, was just purchased by Apple. Texture is like Netflix for magazines. Uh, the idea is you pay $10 a month, you get 200 magazines, the full content. And uh, you probably know that because we've forgive for for forgiveness, forgive us, but we talk about it all the time because they're a great sponsor. We love them. Uh, Eddie Q was on the stage at South by, as you saw there, talking about it, and it sounds like their plan is to incorporate at least some of the texture content, some of the magazines into Apple's own news app. So texture was started by some of the big publishers, Hearst and Condé Nast, as a way to uh, publish their magazines. There's they. I don't, no one knows how much Apple paid. It's just another Apple content acquisition. Unknown whether they'll keep the app going. I hope they will. Uh, unknown whether they'll keep the advertising going. I really hope mm. they will. <laughs> but uh, so it's just, it's kind of up in the air uh, right now. We'll see what, we'll see what happens with the texture. But I do like texture. I like the way the texture app works a lot better than the Apple News app. So if yeah, you know, the two, that would be if great. we're going to cover news, I guess we should say Apple has a news app. And I stopped using it because I was getting a lot of worthless stuff. But then I gathered that I could make it better if I spent some time. See, the problem with the idea anyway is that the Apple News gets better as you use it. So they notice what you read. And uh, for some reason, they've decided that I must be interested in Prince Harry's raised eyebrows. <laughs> and I'm not. I don't want any gossip in there. So one thing... You, you can absolutely do, and in fact, I would suggest is go to the following tab on here and press the edit button, and you can rejigger what you're doing here. For instance, they suggested, according to Siri, that I was interested in celebrity news, so I I, I just deleted mm -hmm. that and got rid of it. Um, you can add single source channels. In fact, you can add Twit if you want to your single source channels, and that will certainly drive a little bit of your content. But the problem I have with Apple News is it just uh, maybe I just need to to the problem is, see, I see this 
Prince Harry thing. And I'm going to click it because what I can't, I'm fascinated. But I don't really want to read it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now I've sent a signal to Apple mm -hmm. that I do want to see more stories like that. And that, that's broken. Because really what I, I don't, I don't want to see more stories. Now, you can unheart trending stories. You won't see those anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I'm going to do that. That might help because most of those trending stories are crap. You can also unheart subject areas. Uh, you can unheart publishers, but it it just it it's algorithmic, and I think that's really the problem. And this is as we're talking about news apps in general today. I think that this is something that I think would be I would underscore is that news that is generated by a computer isn't really as interested as news as generated by people. Mm -hmm. And this is an ad, and it's a really big ad, and it's yeah. a disgusting ad, and I don't. <laughs> So another reason, we're going to show you some stuff that's not Apple News. You, you, you know, it comes with your iPhone and iPad. You already yeah. have it. I, I usually use it by topic. Like I'll look at the Apple topic and see, and it's not bad, but the search, fe like the search feature and texture is so much better than, you know, you get, and it just looks better. So I hope they integrate some of the features that I really like into the Apple News. It would make, I mean, if you if I had to choose between Texture and Apple News, I would choose Texture. Right, but Texture's not, I mean, it's $10 a month. It's not right. free. Apple News is free. We'll see what uh, what Apple does with it. Uh, I, it's it's hard to say what the what the plan is there yeah. anyway. But there are other uh, choices. Of course, you know, we're, we're going to skip all the obvious choices, the New York Times, the Washington Post, Time Magazine, all of that. Um, but there are other really some pretty good choices for news. What, what, what do you um, like? My favorite new one is called SIP, and it's by Product Hunt, yeah. which um, you know was a great site founded by Ryan Hoover. And SIP is just their way of I'm. Oh, it's really designed for the iPhone. More yeah, and it, it's see if you are familiar with um, Twitter Moments, that it's very similar to that. So what their idea is that a lot of these news um, apps really notify you all throughout the day and annoy you, and you just ignore them or turn off the notifications. And the idea behind SIP is there's never going to be a sound notification. They're all silent notifications, and there's only usually one a day. Um, so that you're not bothered all day and interrupted. Because as we know, like when we get interrupted from our work, that's no good for anyone. No. So uh, yesterday's SIP was about what we just talked about, Apple acquiring um, the Netflix of magazines texture. And so if you want to scroll through that, you just get little tiny content, you get GIFs, and if I, you just tap it on the right, and then you'll get like tweets from Tech uh, Crunch or from Quartz. Um, and then just little tiny bits. So this is not, this is, you're not going to get a ton of context here. You're going to get just like the upper level news. And if you want to go back, you tap on the left side, which is one of the most interesting things about this app. I haven't really seen that user interface, like tap on the right. Usually you're swiping. I, I did a lot of swiping and I was like, why can't I swipe? That's what I'm used to, like Tinder. But it's just tapping. So tap on the right to go forward, tap on the left to go back. And then, yeah, that's, that's Isn't basically that the, it. Is that the Snapchat? I think it's the uh, Instagram slash Snapchat. Really? Yeah. Because, I mean, it, does, it's, it looks better on your iPhone. I, I, uh, so, SIP is named SIP because you SIP at the news. You really only get a few stories a day. Mm -hmm. For news junkies like you and me, that's not enough. But I think for maybe a lot of normal people, that would be enough. Yeah. You've got SIP. I'm going to show Chugalug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is not for people really who can't Chug get enough news ever. <laughs> And I think people often think of Reddit as kind of a cesspool, as kind of, they call themselves the front page of the internet. I think it's somewhere in between, but I think if you follow interesting newsworthy subreddits, Reddit is divided up into groups called subreddits, the content of Reddit is superior. So the, the key on Reddit is to pick subreddits, and you can start with news. There are something, there's things called multi-reddits. If you go to the multi-reddit hub, that's reddit slash reddit.com slash r slash multi reddit multi multi hub i'm sorry reddit slash r slash multi hub you can see a bunch of multis that are designed by normal people they aggregate a bunch of other subreddits and there's a number of news and politics there you go subreddits there's some not safe for works as there uh, there as well but <laughs> but go there on your on your uh, computer and and copy a few multi-hubs for subjects you're interested in. That's a great way to get started yeah. with Reddit. You want to create a Reddit account. Let me show you the program I use. There are no, there's a real debate among Redditors. 
on everything. <laughs> but but among Redditors on which is the best iOS app, I happen to like something called Narwhal. Uh, it, by the way, one of the reasons I like it, it has this black mode. So you can, if you just tap the Narwhal, uh, you'll see you can have it the dark mode or the light mode. And since I'm often reading at night, I like to use the dark mode. And on the left are all the articles from all of the subreddits I subscribed mushed together. So this is politics, world news, best of... There's one called Oddly Satisfying. There's mm -hmm. just Oddly Satisfying Videos. <laughs> uh, I, of course, because I'm a Minecraft fanatic, I, I uh, always look at the Minecraft subs. But you can change. Science is really useful. So what the way uh, Narwhal works is you'll see the article up above that is referred to. And this is the article. So if you just want to read the news article, you'll see that. And then below you'll see the comments and so these are redditors commenting now reddit comment threads have a culture of their own and one of the things they often do is is kind of devolve into silliness on the other hand uh you do get karma points people are voting you up or down so the good comments tend to rise so if you just go a few comments deep you'll often get some very valuable comments so this is a science study that says Researchers found people who pursue happiness frequently feel stressed by time constraints. And this, paradoxically, makes them unhappy. Oh, mm. interesting. So me trying to live my best life is causing me not to live yeah, my best that's life. That's why I've given up. <laughs> um, um, so I think for news, and by the way, I'm, you and I probably both do this. Every single morning, we do a beat check. And of course, I look at TechMeme, which doesn't have an app, but that's a website that has all the tech news. Those are headlines. And that's not that's human aggregated again, not computer aggregated. Uh, I always look at it. I'll show you a few others that I look at every day. But Reddit is also one I look at every day. And you can choose in Narwhal to look at the hot, which is where the default, new, rising, controversial, or top. If you want to see the top stories from today, that's actually probably a better way to sort it because then you'll see the highest voted, most important stories of the day. Uh, you'll believe it or not, I get a lot of stories. Uh, out of Reddit. In a little bit, I'll show you what I do to put these stories into our show notes and, and so forth to aggregate them. But for, uh, that's kind of something more specialized, but for reading, and by the way, Narwhal has both iPad and uh, iPhone um, interfaces. I think it's the best way to read Reddit. I'm, I really like it. A lot of people like Alien Blue. Alien Blue that's is was acquired by Reddit. I don't like uh, it. Oh, you don't? No. Um, it's not as good as Narwhal. Right. Well, it is doing that, you know, giving me a lot of news I'm not interested in reading about. Well, you Alabama have to you log into your account. Yeah. That's probably mm -hmm. part of the. So that's really important is create an account and customize it because otherwise you'll get the top page of Reddit, which is just kind of generic right. stuff. Mm -hmm. So create an account and all that. Okay. But I yeah, have a, I have but you a can Reddit see account. it's look at the alien blue use of the space. It's terrible. Yeah, you're right. So, no, Narwhal is, is 10 times better. There are uh, some other choices, but uh, and I try them all when people talk about them and I end up always going back to Narwhal, which works great. Um, is uh, I think it's free, right? Yeah. You had a great purchase. Reddit discussion on Twit yesterday um, about the Reddit show. Yeah, our uh, our guest Ben Johnson uh, does a show for uh, NPR called uh, Endless Thread. That's all about Reddit, mm -hmm. and it's it's a good sh it's a good uh, podcast if you're interested. But there's I you know I go back and forth on Reddit because. Reddit's done, I think, a very good job of cleaning itself up, of getting rid of the hates, uh, the hate subreddits. Well, I've always thought Reddit was a great place to find out what's going on in the internet, and it, and much like Twitter, uh, although I think better than Twitter, Reddit can be whatever you make it be. So it's who mm -hmm. you follow on Reddit that makes it good, and I think a good app like Narwhal makes that a lot easier. So that that's. That's my pick for Reddit reading. Yeah. The, what I liked on Reddit is when they like discover weird things where it's like, oh, I found this picture. Do you know who this person is? Yeah, and so you'd follow large. that. So that's all you do is you follow those. Weird finding you know, people. Yeah, I follow one that's called No, No, No. no oh, uh, and it's people no. doing really stupid You do? You things. follow that? Yeah, it's oh pretty, gosh, it's wait, pretty oh funny. So here's a guy <laughs> trying, trying to drive. With a with a whole lot of rebar uh, on, really probably too much for his pickup truck, and he just he can't. Whoa! 
Oh, there it goes. <laughs> now you know why I follow that. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I didn't. I was. Is I was that suspect. rebar or wood? I don't know what it is, but he's. It's way too much of it on the pickup truck. First time he tries to go up the hill, he can't. So he backs up. This is actually pretty funny. And takes it at speed. Let's go. We're going to get up this little hump. Come on. Here we go. Oh, with the wheels in the air. And there goes all the wood. <laughs> oh, dear. Feels like that was set up. Because there's somebody sitting there waiting for him to do that, right? All the real news that you need to get through your day. Uh, my well, if every, when you're reading news every once in a while, you want to create. This yeah. is like watching a really good version of your local news. <laughs> and at the end, they show you a silly yeah, video. You're not going to believe what's <laughs> next. Okay, so if you just want to focus on tech news, this is one of my go-tos every day, Morning Reader. Oh, I and don't know this one. Yes. Uh, so this is done with a combination of algorithms and people. So it's not just algorithmic. Um, and it does the top stories and the recent stories, and it's all tech news. So it's, it's similar to tech meme. You'll see a lot of the same stuff on uh, on tech meme. So, um, you know, Fitbit's new smartwatch. We're going to talk about That's where I got the idea. We're going to talk about that later. Just it's very basic and clean. That's what I really like about it. So, um, yeah, just click on and then it'll open the story and no ads. Very simple. Morning Reader, and the, I have mentioned this before, I think. Now they have a new uh, tech, a new Morning Reader just devoted to cryptocurrency. So if that is your, if cryptocurrency is your jam and you want to know just all of the top stories on that, I know that's like the big buzzword these days. So these are just stories about blockchain. Um, so you can have the river which is similar to the way that Tech Meme does it. It's the top stories in the river is just everything that's coming in. In chron pure yeah. chronological mm -hmm. order. Yeah. So I think that's interesting. If you if you really want to follow the, the blockchain world, you can do that or you can... Um, now, key for me on any of these is the ability to share. And in particular, uh, what I want to do, now this may not be an issue for you, but I want to bookmark it for use in our shows mm -hmm. so i use a, a site a bookmarking site called pinboard mm -hmm. you probably heard me talk about mm -hmm. it pinboard. i follow your pinboard that's another source i go to well yeah in fact pinboard has a top stories uh page and that's a great way to see what people are bookmarking but remember when people bookmark something it's usually because they want to remember it for later use it's not there's less ephemeral stuff it's stuff they want to kind of keep around i use the pinboard uh and in fact we even have a a Zapier script that takes whatever I bookmark on the pin board, puts it into a Google sheet that Karsten, my producer, can then paste into the various shows. So we have this whole workflow. But for me, it's very critical that, well, I'll show you this. Let's say I want to share this pickup truck story. You know, first of all, every news app I use has to have a share button. And actually, whoops, that's the comment button, dot, 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 share link. And what I like about this is, Narwhal gives me the choice of sharing a URL alone or title and URL. So I'm going to do that. Now, this is the standard share sheet. But what you'll find, unfortunately, is that Pinboard doesn't show up anywhere in the standard share sheets unless you get an app for Pinboard. And then you're going to see that push pin. That's Pinboard. And now, oops, so no URL was found. So I won't be able to share that one. But I'll show you this app because it's really uh, a great app um, if I can find it. There it is. It's called, uh, see, what's funny is it usually just sits in the background. I think it's called, no, I need to, Push Pin. That's the name of it. There are a couple. I used Pin Droid for a while uh, on my Android device. Push Pin is great. Now, it's not free, but Push Pin then allows you, it adds, first of all, it adds pin board to your share sheets, which is kind of critical because it's not there normally. And then you can also go back and you can read. So these are all the things I've bookmarked. But I can also see community bookmarks like Popular and so forth. So this is a good app on its own, pin, uh, push pin. But it adds a key feature for me, which is it gives, even in Apple News and other, and other apps, gives me the ability to share using Apple's own share sheets to bookmark stuff into Pinboard. And that's kind of really critical for me. So uh, push pin is, is a must-have no matter what I'm using. So... 
this app is just one news source, but I like the app so much that I use it regularly. It's also my favorite Apple Watch app. They have really clever Apple Watch notifications for the news. It's the Quartz app. So Quartz. I is, really like Quartz. Yeah, a lot. Quartz yeah. is part of the Atlantic Group, and you know, which you know, Atlant the the Atlantic and other um, magazines and newspapers. And I love their tech writers. So you can um, just it's like you're texting them. So it's like we're having a conversation with gifts and stuff. So they've given me some news. I say next, what's next? And um, they even have the three little dots. So it appears like the bot is thinking. And um, they have added augmented reality to this app. So you can have your news appear in your living room. Do you, uh, would you like to? Um, what does that mean? <laughs> so here's the news. SpaceX launched the maiden voyage of the Falcon Heavy rocket on February 6th. Um, so, yes, let's explore the Falcon Heavy in AR. Yes, would I like quartz? Yes. So, let me... There's the Falcon Heavy right on our table. Ooh, and I can move it That's around. cool. Can that's I cool. land them on my desk? Yes, you can. Nice. Um, you can make it tiny, tiny Falcon light. Very nice. Um, and I can take a picture uh, of that and share it with you and say, look, the Falcon Heavy landed in <laughs> iOS today, today, and I could share that. Um, so it's, it's not exactly news. It's more like a toy. Well, Quartz is news, but they have the AR feature. The so AR me, is kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, I like it. So let me find the Quartz app on my... Uh, so it's going to give me um, advertisements there. So Shocker, Volkswagen is spending $25 billion to lock down battery supplies. Yeah. So I, if I want to read that, I can click on the little emoji. Um, and if I want to read something else, then... I go anything else, and it gives me more news about Apple buying texture, which I guess is the big, the big news for the day. <laughs> I guess it is. Um, That's one problem, by the way, with all the news sources that you find on iOS is they're very Apple heavy. Mm -hmm. They figure if you're doing it on an iPad or an right. iPhone, you must be really interested in Apple. And as much as I am, I want to see all the news. Right. You know, That's kind of a pet peeve for me is, uh, is uh, news apps that kind of slant, not, not slant their coverage. That's one thing. But slant their topics i want to see you know so that's why for instance i really like the reddit app because i'm or you know our wall because i'm able to say this is what i care about mm -hmm. this is what i want to see yeah um, a lot of the news apps do yeah uh, even like tech meme is very apple heavy as yeah well. yeah because te tech meme is driven by twitter logins mm -hmm. uh twitter uh sharing not now actually that's an interesting point because it's twitter sharing in general, as opposed to Twitter sharing with your people. Mm -hmm. And I have an app for Twitter sharing with your people that I really like, the people you follow. And this is actually not just Twitter, uh, but it's also, an, uh, I guess I don't have it on my iPad. Is that because it's not an iPad? Oh, they might have an iPad version. Let me, yeah, there's an iPad version. So let me download it real quickly. Meanwhile, while I'm downloading, it's called Nuzzle. We had Jonathan Abrams on. Jonathan is... Um, the guy who created Friendster and Nuzzle is his first, uh, is his new startup, and I really like it. It's got a little what is it? A hedgehog, a little hedgehog icon. Porcupine, perhaps. Yeah, maybe it's a porcupine. <laughs> the idea is it's looking at what the top tweeted stories are. Mm -hmm. It does use your followers, so it's look. So you log into your Twitter account for Nuzzle. You also will log into your uh, Facebook account for Nuzzle. And that way it can decide what news your friends are following. And it has a couple of features I, I really like. So this is what my friends are tweeting. Mostly they're talking about politics, so it's less useful for tech news for me. There's also friends of friends, which is kind of intriguing. Um, that's what people your friends are following are tweeting. And then there's the best of Nuzzle in general. That's more like the you know the tech meme where it's just the top stories. And finally, I, uh, there's a there's a page maybe yeah, on this, and then you can follow people's newsletters. That's right, and Discover. So Discover will show you different newsletters. So I follow Steve Martin's newsletter, for instance. I have a newsletter, and that's automatically curated. But you get the chance to curate it every day and mm -hmm. add stories that you want. Now Steve's very interested in art, so you get a lot of art stories from Steve's feed, which is which is kind of uh, an interesting thing. But you can see other feeds. In the discover section you know it's funny they don't have in the app what they have on the website which is news you would have missed mm -hmm. because you're following your friends too much yeah so out of your get out of your bubble. get out, get out of your bubble which i which i really like 
Um, so that's so there's a website that has that, and then the app which has all the rest. Let me see. Maybe in the in the menu they have uh, news from friends. Best of there it is. In the menu there's also news you may have missed. That's stories that weren't uh, particularly tweeted in your group, but you may be interested in. And uh, in fact, there are a couple of interesting stories. So uh, Nuzzle N U Z Z E L spelled funny mm -hmm. uh, is free. You just connect it to your Twitter and Facebook accounts. And then it does a great job, I think, of aggregating. It means I don't have to go look at Twitter and see all the mess that's at Twitter. It's just news stories, which I really like. I will be honest and say I used to like Nuzzle better before 2016. What happened in 2016? <laughs> what happened in Oh, all the political news. Yeah, um, it's gotten very, very Trump heavy, unfortunately. I mean, I'm, I'm That's interested actually a problem with all of these. Yeah, I'm interested in politics. I definitely am. But there's a, during the day when I'm looking through tech news, I just want tech news. Right. And so many of the tech reporters that I follow on Twitter... That's all they talk tweet about. about politics, which is fine, but it's just Nuzzle is not the, the, the tool that it used to be for me. But I think that it is a good point that you can get that other. Let me like, show you an alternative. Okay. This is an old app everybody knows about, but it's worth rediscovering because it's really been updated. Flipboard. It also will follow your Twitter followers, but you can also follow, as you can see here, uh, publications. So this is my tech meme Flipboard feed, which is a little bit more pretty than tech oh, meme. that is pretty. Yeah, they've, they've, they're trying to make it a magazine. So, uh, you know, it, it, this is actually pulling up the website, but which is not desirable. You, but if I look at some, so there's my Twitter feed, and yeah, I bet you it'll be pretty Trump heavy. Yeah, it is. But there's other stuff in here, and look how magazine-y they've made it. For, uh, Flipboard's design goal has always been to be the magazine version of your news. So, for instance, if if you want to follow the Economist, you can't really do that without buying the Economist app. But they're pulling in Economist tweets. You see how many retweets mm -hmm. there are then they're basing it on tweets. And so you can actually get some of this content without subscribing uh, to the Economist, which is which is kind of nice. Flipboard is very configurable. Um, sharing, for me, one of the reasons I don't use it as much as I'd like to is it's a little bit more difficult uh, to share with. So let me just take this story. And, uh, but But it does the share sheets and so forth. So you know you can you can uh, share it as you want and it has it has some nice features including you can add this to your magazine which is kind of like nuzzles newsletters you can favorite oh, I'm, I'm not logged into tumblr this is on tumblr um and and so forth but you know again i can always use my bookmarking feature on uh on pin the pin board uh, site using uh whatever that's called <laughs> yeah, pin. Forgot. yeah pin. we already forgot push pin push pin yes so uh this is i think this is something that people should look at and as long as i'm going to say that i'm going to say tech republic which is or i'm sorry news republic which is the same idea it was another a kind of a flipboard clone mm -hmm. that i think people have forgotten about i had forgotten about flipboard i mean that was one of the first ones flipboard right. was the first way right. to and this is beautifully look at news kind of one of the sad things about the way uh, it works in app land is that it's it's very trendy mm -hmm. and people use like you stopped using nuzzle and then so you might want to look at both News Republic and Flipboard again. These are both designed to do the same thing, magazine-y like feeds that it's getting from a variety of sources. So it's a way of, it's an aggregator, but it makes it a little bit more friendly to read. So if, if texture does go away, I don't know if it will. Um, these are two good choices to give you magazine. And by the way, you can subscribe to actual magazines uh, in, in Flipboard, which is, you know, I have the New Yorker in here, which is kind of nice. So you can kind of see the stories, but it has to be the stories that they pu publish publicly. New Yorker publishes a lot of them publicly, including cartoons. Cartoons. Wow, Flipboard, you can ads. get really um, granular. You can yeah. Get, like iPhoneography. Yeah, or don't forget Flipboard. 5. I think people have forgotten uh, Flipboard is really a good resource, I think. Yeah, I'm I'm getting back in the Flipboard. Get get back the Flipboard. You know who, you know who turned me back onto this? Because I stopped using it after a while, Lisa. She said, you know, you... You really ought to look at Flipboard. Mm. It's great. I said, oh, you're right. Yeah. She loves it. All right. Do you have any other news? Oh, I got sources? a ton of them. Should I keep going? Give us one more. One, one more. One more. One more. Remember, we're looking for alternative mm -hmm. stuff. 
Yeah, there's one that I have on my menu bar that I think also people might have forgotten. And the timing is good because Google has just announced they're having they're going to make this more iPad friendly, the Google Assistant app. Google Assistant has the Google Now cards on it, and they are news. And they're news based. This is algorithmically generated, so possibly good or not. I think Google actually does a better job than Apple mm -hmm. of aggregation. So they know what I've followed. I'm very interested in Tesla, computer security. They know because they know my email that I bought a Galaxy S9. Mm -hmm. So they've so this is news that's really tailored by what Google knows you are interested in. It knows I like the Giants, for instance. And you can, if you want, you can customize your feed by adding your favorite topics as well. <laughs> so I, I think people probably forget the Google Now stuff. First of all, you probably have Google on there, and they've made this more iPad-friendly. In fact, you see I keep it in my menu bar. I like it so much because it has the search, and it has all the Google tools, and it has the Google Now cards and so forth. Uh, I, I, I think you shouldn't ignore it. The now cards are your calendars. And you know what's sad is that they they seem to have taken a lot of the features out of this is the this what they've done is they've got home, which is news essentially. And then in the middle are your now cards, which are calendar things, info for you. For some reason, it thinks I want to know about these stock prices. Uh, this has all been updated as of today based on uh, on input to Google. And then you can do uh, new searches here. So uh, I think this is um, something people should remember because it has lots of other useful features. But those Google Now cards that give you the weather, it's like a little mini newspaper. Mm, yeah. and the layout, I wish it were using the iPad layout better. It's really designed for the phone more. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I can show you what it looks like on the phone. You'll see it does look kind of a lot better. It looks, it looks like it. I mean, it's kind of like is the phone layout, right? And it updates regularly with news that I'm actually uh, pretty happy with. And can you swipe the cards away? That's what Aunt Pruitt's in the chat room asking if you can swipe them. Hi, Aunt. Uh, you can. You oh, maybe they've what you, changed what that. If you hard press. You them? used to be able to swipe them away. Well, you can on on Android, but maybe you couldn't. Follow, share, hide this story. Not interested in Elon Musk. Not interested in stories from the week. Customized stories. Send feedback. Yeah, this is the new uh, UI. It used to be able to swipe those away after you read them. In iOS, you could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, may, really, maybe maybe you think my memory is bad? No, I don't I think your memory is bad. Might be, because I do use Android, too, so it might be. Uh, yeah. Oh, so Ant says you can't on Android anymore, either. Yeah, I think they changed it, which is too bad. There they, they was a big update today, and that's why I thought I'd bring this up. I, I still think it's, a, a especially on the phone, it's a very useful quick feed of stories that you are almost always interested in because after all google knows more about you than your mother mm -hmm. it's true right so uh i've read the news it's probably time to have a glass of wine don't you think oh i wish we could has the sun gone over the yard arm no not yet we i talk love this about wine. wink wink is a winery that uh sends you wine that you would never maybe have tried that you will love. Let me uh, let me open our Wink box and see what we got from Wink today. Typically, we'll get four bottles a month. You don't have to get any given month. You can pause it or cancel it. Uh, shipping is covered. If you don't like a bottle, they'll send you a bottle back. But they make the wine. That's a big deal difference. Uh, there are other wine clubs out there where they don't make the wine. This is what's cool about Wink. And we uh, we went down there and met with a winemaker. Um, in Santa Monica, or actually it's Marina Del Rey. It was so much fun to meet them. They do wines from our area, Sonoma, Napa. But they also do wines from uh, all around the world. Santa Inez. This is, this is Santa Inez in Santa Barbara County. This is a Sauvignon Blanc. So when you go, actually, let's go to the website because it's really fun to do. When you first go to the website, it's like, oh, this is very popular. This is their mm. summer water, rosé. I love a good rosé. Oh, this is like their number one mm. wine. It's really good. Um then they also have, they have a Pinot that is like a specialty Pinot that only they make where the, the grapes are picked at midnight. Oh. oh it's so good, but I'm not going to tell you because it's all mine. But when you like show up at your book club, everybody's going to have the thing. Nobody's going to have this. Nobody's going to have that. Yeah. And if and here's the thing. Here's who this is for. This is for people who want to take a step above the two buck chuck that you get at your book club, right? Mm -hmm. People bring kind of cheap junky wine. And I think a lot of people don't like wine because that's all they've tasted. This is for people who say, you know, I'd like, people seem to like wine. I want to see if I 
if I would like a really good wine, and this is really good wine, very affordable prices. If you already love wine, you'll make some amazing discoveries from wine all over the world. But the way it starts, watch this, get started. It's with their taste profile. So let's do it for you because I've already done this. I'm a member. I've been a member for some time and we love it. How do you like your coffee? Strong and black, mild, nothing in it with cream or sugar, frappuccinoed, or I don't like coffee. Frappuccinoed? That's, we don't get that because then you'll get sweeter wines, okay. right? I don't know. You, you have to be honest. Okay. You have to do be honest. Do not lie to your wink profile. Not like you lie to your doctor when you right. tell him how many no, glasses of No, this is okay. No one, no one is looking. <laughs> how do you, do you drink coffee? I do. I like it black. Strong and black. Mm -hmm. All right. So that means you like bitter wines. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. How about salt? I love it. Love it. Put it on everything. Use it sometimes, but it bothers me. With everything. Everything. As much as possible. Do you like citrus? Yes. Yes. Who? Yeah, you've got good taste. Ah, how about earthy flavors? Mushrooms, you know, black I truffles. I like earthy flavors okay. In moderation? In moderation. Is this that great? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you like blackberries? No, blueberries? Not really. Rasp oh, raspberries. I like raspberries. Do I have to hit, like all three? Um, so, so I think so so yeah, yeah. So, so. Uh, how about peppers yes <laughs> actually this is how adventurous are you I'll try anything uh, really I'm always looking to try something new I don't actively seek out and taste I know what I like I, I eat blank and I drink blank and that's it always willing to try something try something new not I I'll try everything really Second always looking one. to try yeah. something new so once you do that they know what kind of wine or they think they know what kind of wines you're gonna like but now of course you're never you know committed so they're gonna build a box it's four bottles a month they, you don't, the complimentary shipping, there's no membership mm -hmm. fees. These are wines made by Wink. I want to emphasize that. There's other pl people who will sell you leftover, wine, you know, extras and stuff like this. This is not that. This is super fabulous wine. Skip a month anytime you want. Now, do you like red and white or just because you can. I prefer the white. You, oh, you can do all. What about rosé? You, you can. Yeah, you can do that too. You can. You, whoops, I didn't mean to make it that big. The white and rosé, I think, are in the same. So okay. you probably want to do one red, three white or. Yeah, yeah, one red, three I white. would put a red in, I'll tell you why. To bring the this is up. about discovery. No, no, <laughs> this is about discovery because you're going to, you're going to, there are some, some of these Wink wines, I, we went out and we bought a case of them. They were so good. Um, ooh, ooh, I'm excited. By the good. way, they do ciders too. This is a local cider oh, from Sonoma, California. I love cider. So 2016 Rosa, this is based on your taste profile, by the way, not mine. Mm -hmm. There's the summer water rosé. You're going to get some of that. That's phenomenal. Look at the prices. Really reasonable, okay? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to say, you're going to, I'm telling you, this is a Languedoc from France. This is a California. I'm going to add the summer water and I'm going to have the cider in there. Let's add that to your box. Now you can look at some other ones. We, I have the Malbec here. We love the Malbec. It's Sparkling phenomenal. Chardonnay. I've never even heard they have of a, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. They have, you know what? This is the, oh, oh, oh. Oh, I would get that. Brethren of the Road Riesling from Monterey. Oh, I would get that. Spain, France, all over the world. Really amazing wines. They have the best winemakers. Funk Zone. How about the Funk Zone? Blend, white blend. Is the Funk Zone, that's in Santa Barbara, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've been to the Funk Zone. You have? Yes. Have you been to the Funk Zone, folks? Here's your chance. I love Wink. Why settle for the same bottle of wine you always get? I know you say, well, it's good. I know. I trust it. This is, by the way, this is the one they pick at midnight. If you really want this field theory, oh, and we drink it. I've been, I, this is my wine. But, and but see here, it's a little fruitier, it's a little, and a little less earth and wood. I, I don't know why. I just love it. I just love it. So I'm just saying, you're going to discover new wines. This is a way to expand your tastes, get great wine at a great price. Wine to share, wine. And I like four bottles. Uh, that's one a week. It's not a ton of wine. It's enough to like bring a bottle to a dinner party, have a bottle for a special occasion, maybe to a friend and put one in your cellar, that kind of thing. Why settle for the same bottle of wine you're always getting? Discover great wine today from, I think, some of the best winemakers in the world. Try wink.com slash iOS. And by the way, you get $20 off your first shipment. Shipment's always complimentary, so it's really off your first wines. Try wink.com slash iOS for $20 off. T R Y W I N C dot com slash iOS. Just do yourself a favor and try it once. I'm telling you, I'm going to get the cider. I'm excited. I'm that really wine excited. In a can. Yeah, they, you know what? They have all kinds. They have all kinds. I like wine in a can. Uh, but they know what they are doing. This is a really brilliant startup, and I'm a, a big fan. 
All right. So, have you been to the Funk Zone? <laughs> have you, I have been. You should go to the Funk Zone. Is that like a winery? No, it's an area of Santa Barbara. Oh, it's called the Funk then Zone. Then it's it's funky and it's got a lot of little uh, wine bars and such. See, they, these guys are great because they discover stuff. Mm -hmm. right. I'm excited. Okay, about them. go ahead. All right. So we we need to talk about Siri. There was an interesting article that can I found. Can we me. talk about Siri? Yeah, can we talk? Can we talk about Siri? What is the problem? Uh, interesting piece on Quartz that I yeah. found. Uh, they did an interview with this, one of the Siri's creators. You know, that before when it was a single. Who now works for Samsung. Norman Winarski? Yeah. Um, yeah, so um, no wonder he's criticizing Siri. But he's well, they, they, so it was, they started it. Yeah. Apple bought it mm -hmm. some years ago, took features out, never put all of them back, and hasn't done much since. Right, but what I thought was, I mean, we've been cr criticizing Siri for a while, but what I thought was really interesting about this piece was just the idea that they asked too much. Like, Apple oversold it from the beginning. They did. They and did. that, uh, and this this article points out a, it's a, a very quote, good point. A quote from Bill Gates, which is, I think is a really helpful reminder that we tend to overestimate tech change, the tech that's going to change in the next two years, and we underestimate the tech that's going to change in the next ten years. Yeah, that's uh, that's another way of putting one of my favorite quotes, which is, uh, "Your favorite technology is both closer and farther away than you think." Yeah. It's a little bit of both. Right. So what's interesting is like they were, oh, you know, when they sold, when they bought Siri, similar to how they bought Texture, you know, it was just a standalone app and then they bought it and they promised this great thing where the creator himself says it was really just supposed to be sort of a concierge for right. travel. Well, it was great because you could, uh, you could make re dinner reservations mm -hmm. through it and Apple took that out immediately. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's what I wanted it for. Right. Right. So it's really, I mean, with the HomePod, you know, there was a lot of fanfare about the HomePod and it really depends on Siri. And it's very difficult when I, when you have an, an Echo device and the HomePod in the same room and you, or, you know, I don't even know Google, a Google Home, but that's even better. Here's my problem with the HomePod. Uh, I mean, it's fine for playing music, but it's got Siri on it. Right. And so I wanted to send you a text message. I'm on my way. So I, Told, I said to my phone, hey, you know who? And the phone started and then handed it off to the HomePod. The problem is the HomePod won't send text messages. Mm -hmm. I didn't want the HomePod to pick it up. So the HomePod's been stealing my Siri. And then it won't do everything that Siri on the phone or iPad will. Right. That's very frustrating to me. Super frustrating. It makes me not want to have the HomePod anywhere I might use Siri mm -hmm. on my phone. So, yeah, and I think we, I mean, people used Siri for the first, second, third, fourth, fifth time, and it didn't do anything, and they're frustrated. So even though it's improved a bit over time, a lot of people have just given up on it. He, he's he's right in the sense, and it's not just Siri, it's all of these, that they've been sold as some sort of smart artificial intelligence assistant. And they're n not that smart. Mm -hmm. And so people, they've been oversold in effect. If we didn't expect as much from them, we wouldn't be so disappointed. I think they're going to they're heading that way both you know Google Amazon and Siri are all headed towards being like uh, Scarlett Johansson in the movie Her where she's like you converse with her she understands your wants and needs she can do searches for you and all that stuff but that's you know what did he say 10 years off that's mm -hmm. quite a way off I think uh, and meantime we're stuck with these kind of not these half bright assistants that are really more frustrating than mm -hmm. they uh, are helpful. So, I agree with him. Yeah, I mean, so he they started a Viv.ai, which they then sold to Samsung. Samsung has put it in Bixby, which is even dumber than Siri. I might <laughs> add. So I feel sorry for Norm, but uh, Samsung did kind of hint, wait and see, because you know we've and I think what's happened is they haven't incorporated this new Viv stuff into uh, Bixby yet. But Bixby is, I mean, if you if you don't like Siri, wait till you try Bixby. <laughs> Holy cow. That's the Samsung smart assistant. It even has its own button on the Samsung That's weird phones. to devote a button to something that doesn't, you know, doesn't adjust work. to that. Well, you, we can try it. Oops. Okay. I just dropped my phone. Uh-oh. We can't Never try mind. It. Could you get that for me, Burke? I dropped <laughs> I have, I brought my Fly note. Fly up to the desk. You can't. It doesn't also, uh, <laughs> well, I, yeah, I wish it could. Really, Bixby is mostly designed to control the phone. So this is a Note 8. This is not the S9, but oh. it's pretty darn similar, right? Um First, I have to unlock it. I can't even remember. This is what happens when you use too many phones. Mm -hmm. Don't show his password. That's not really a password. It's just an unlock. Okay. Because uh, I haven't used it in a while. All right. Let's see if I can get uh, get Mr. B. Hey, Bixby. 
Hey, Bixby. Hey, Bixby. Okay, let's press the button. Nothing. Oh, did you turn it off? No, this is normal. <laughs> It'll start in a minute. <laughs> okay, that's problem number one, right? With a with a smart assistant. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't quite catch that. You can wake me up and try again. Bixby says. Hey, Bixby. Open the can. Giving up. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Give me some Apple news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yours worked. Let's try this again. Open the camera. Oh, finally. That's about it. Yeah. Okay. That's about it. That's, so that's really not the most useful thing ever. Oh, I'm, I'm taking a lot of pictures for some reason. <laughs> I just took 50 pictures. <laughs> Bixby, knock it off. All right, so what do we think about Fitbit's uh, second swing at smartwatch? You know, it's so funny. I didn't even read it. You know you why? Because you didn't. I you got an Apple, Apple watch. watch. Yeah. So the market for this is 200 bucks, right? Mm -hmm. market for this is people who don't want to spend $250 on an Apple watch. I don't know who that is. Uh, and look at the band. Yeah, I'm sure you can get different bands, but. And look at the size of it. The shape is weird. It just feels like a cheap knockoff to Yeah. Me. So I didn't even read it. It's like, okay, fine, Fitbit. Uh, it's the, so the Fitbit Ionic, which was their first generation, um, apparently didn't win a lot of hearts. So now they have the Versa. Uh, I think if you, like, um, if you liked Pebble, you might really like it because <laughs> they bought Pebble and so they're using... It's Pebble-ish. But look at, show, show, uh, show her screen. Look at the time on that. Does that look right? <laughs> It really Does it look doesn't. like something went wrong? Like yeah. it got squished? Like, like are you drunk and you're it's blurring a little bit? It, you know, anytime we complain about Apple, look at the size of that thing. Yeah, that's very anytime big. Anytime we complain about Apple, just look at what other people are doing and you'll go, Yeah, well, Apple's not so bad, are they? Yeah. <laughs> Siri ain't that bad. Look at Bixby. The Apple <laughs> look true. at what is the size of that thing? It, it, yeah. Is that Flavor Flav's clock? <laughs> what is that? Big watches are sometimes fashionable. I guess they're embracing the big. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, should we get one and review it? Sure. I didn't, see, I didn't even, I, like, I don't even want to think about it. Like, I, it's like, Here, let's buy one right now. <laughs> I suppose we should, because I'm sure there are people who want to know, but I just, I just can't. 200, yeah. Yeah, it does. It looks like it can come It's a pebble, bands. basically. Yeah. It's a pebble. I don't know. I don't think we need to review this. It seems like. <laughs> it feels like we don't. Yeah. I'll let Marcus Brownlee buy all this stuff from now on. Yeah. He's doing better than I am. <laughs> let him buy it and review it. He won't either, by the way. I don't think. We'll see. It's, it does seem to be like that's a woman's arm, you know, like it doesn't seem to be. I wonder if it's being specifically. How big? Does it say how big it is? Jeez, like, um, that looks big. Let's see. Not that the Apple Watch is, is diminutive. It's. 1.34 width diagonal. Yeah, they're not. They're not telling you the standard nine, watch size. Four which is, seven eight inches. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's an inch. But you can get a leather band. <laughs> nice. For how much? Fifty dollars. That's oh, Apple price. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Apples are apples. Leather. Leather's more expensive. Yeah, the yeah. leather bands are yeah. more expensive. Okay. All right. What other news do we need to talk about? Um, Apple has set the record on wearable shipments. This is this is the problem that Fitbit mm -hmm. has. They're the number two uh, wearable maker, but they're distantly behind Apple. Mm -hmm. And uh, this I thought was interesting on Business Insider. There's a job application from uh, Steve Jobs from when he was 18 years old, and it's up uh, for auction. What does um, he want a job for? <laughs> he wanted a. J he was applying for a job at Hewlett Packard. Oh yeah. That's where his friend Waz worked. Um, <laughs> he wanted to be a like. Is that where tech. he or he spelled Hewlett Packard wrong? <laughs> See, that's on his... kind of not a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Also, the tear stains on the uh, on the resume. Not... <laughs> the tear. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is a job application what back his, in the day. What is his access to transportation? Possible but not probable. <laughs> oh, you can tell he's already a snark. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. fest. laughs> 
Um, yeah, I have a driver's license, but my access to transportation is possible but not probable. <laughs> like if I'm the boss, I'm going, not hired. Computer, calculator, yes. And what does it say underneath that? It says design tech, I think. Design he designed both, tech. huh? <laughs> I've designed both. That's who I am. And it says design experience digital. Can't read his handwriting. From Hewlett Packard. So he was he getting a job at McDonald's? What is he? What is he? What is he applying for? <laughs> Keep. That's, a, yeah, that's a good question. You know, it's my deadly fear that my. McDonald's job applications will show up. Fortunately, I'm not famous, so it doesn't. Nobody's gonna. <laughs> nobody's gonna dig those up at the McDonald's Corporation. Did you get the job? I well, the first few times I did. So, and, and you got fired, or no? They just after. So I would I would work during the summer and then go back to school. Oh, and then and then I did that a few times, and then at some point they said, "We we can tell you really aren't looking for a career here." No. <laughs> so we don't. We're not going to give you your summer job this time, because they wanted me to go to Hamburger U. Yeah, that's what I was asking. You yeah, never went they want to me to go to Hamburger U, but I said I'm going to Yale U. Maybe you've heard of it. <laughs> and uh, I hope you said it just that way. Yeah, maybe, maybe you've, you've heard of it. It's possible, but not probable. <laughs> Um, all right, 9 to 5 Mac had this really interesting piece. Just in case you were wondering, um, the iOS markup tool is not designed to redact. <laughs> uh, this thanks. is happening a lot lately. People are redacting with digital uh, s services that don't really delete the stuff. Yeah. This has have been happening for a while. We had a former co coworker, do you remember, who accidentally posted a... Um, a photo of herself. Yes, that she I had, vividly remember um, that. Sort of so redacted. She, she had, it was parts. a it was a semi nude photo of her that she had. She took Photoshop to edit it and cut off the. She you know, redacted some. She of redacted the below the neck, but it was still in the uh, icon, I believe. <laughs> well, someone it was like you don't send that out to a bunch the of thumbnail was you know, still in it. Nerds and, who know yeah, how that works. Yeah. I think and it was on Reddit. <laughs> no, yeah, Reddit wasn't, wasn't. She thought it was funny. That's why I mention it now. She thought it was funny? Yeah. Well. I mean, yeah. She, I'm glad she, she. I mean, because some people would be devastated. Yeah. But yeah, so be, you, yeah, digital tools for redacting. You'd be better off if you cut the picture and then took a picture of it. Mm -hmm. Then there's no, there's nothing left. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so I promised you uh, the iPhone 10 for $150. and I... Oh, is this the Uki Tell? <laughs> the Uki Tell. This thing is so junky. This is the Uki Tell 18. It's got a notch. Um, let me uh, oh, enter my it. password. Okay. It's got a notch, <laughs> 5.8. It is running Android. I mean, unapologetically. I've seen uh, Chinese clones that make Android look like an iPhone. Okay, so let, let's, um, I should probably put uh, the same thing on here. Let's go to my Google Photos, maybe. For some see. reason, when we first look at the Ucatel, it had two Google icons left and right on it. Um, so there's your photos. Well, yeah. look, see how distorted those pictures are? These yeah. over here? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really clearly distorted. got something wrong with the camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the camera that looks like a Fitbit watch time. That um, is squinched. But the notch is nice. It's actually the the notch is actually bigger on the for only hundred and fifty dollars you want, can get a slightly get bigger notch. notch. Now I'm with more notch. Uh huh. Um, okay. So some some of this is hundred and fifty dollars. It's from China, um, and it's quite heavy. It has a fingerprint sensor that often doesn't work. It has a face uh, recognition sensor that also often doesn't work. <laughs> And it's supposed to charge with a USB C, but as I as you say, it's this. It the USB C falls out. You yeah, can only you charge to, with its yeah. proprietary right. USB C charger, which um, kind of it defeats the purpose. So yeah, um, but it's one hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> You know, it's a very competent phone. It's fine. And because right. the reason it's heavy is it has a giant battery. Yeah, the battery does last a long time. And you can have Gmail, you can watch YouTube. It's an Android device. Yeah. Compare it to the uh, Note 7, which cost almost $1,000. Note 8, rather, which cost almost mm -hmm. $1,000. But you probably have Oreo on this. There's Android no, 7. No, this is Android 7. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's running the same Android? Yeah. How yeah. come yours looks so Mine's much nicer? Do you bigger. have a different... It's a much better screen. Yeah, the screen is much better. Yeah, because yeah. Samsung makes those beautiful mm -hmm. OLED screens. They make the iPhone 10 screen. Mm -hmm. Let me see the, the weight. Yeah. yeah. Big, mm -hmm. big screen's heavy. Mine has a stylus. Yeah, no yeah. stylus here. Mine actually uses Type-C um, charging. But, you know, um, Ukitel, what's the battery life here? The 
It was pretty uh, 4, big. 4,000 milliamp million. hours. That's, oh, yeah. yeah, that's big. It's not huge. It's bigger than a, a Note 8. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, so, similar to the Note 8, I think, in many ways, <laughs> except for price. I haven't quite found a use for it, but, but I think I will. Um, I it has, it is. according to Google headlines, that's not really, <laughs> that's not what really the say? source. This device will sport a notch at the top, although it will ship out with rather thin bezels. Let's see. Let's compare. How thin are the bezels? Mm. Rather, rather thin. thin. My bezels are thinner. Yeah. No, they're rather thin. They're rather thin. I would rather agree thin. with the rather thin bezel. Rather thin bezels is... you have, my friend. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Your bezels are very thin. Rather. Thank rather. you. Thank you. Rather. All right. So let's get to your Ookie questions. Tell. Ookie. It's not Ookie good. It's ookie. Ookie tell. Could be called a yucky phone. Yes. Thank you. I love her. <laughs> In the chat room. Okay, so Jason from North Carolina writes, I am hoping that you know of an app. I'm looking for a series tracker like ITV shows, but one that tracks book series, oh. making sure you read a series the way the author intended. I'm trying to get back into Audible lately, but would like a good way to track everything. So okay. I just go to Wikipedia. I, I understand the, the motivation. A lot of sci-fi, especially, there's 18 volumes, and you want to start with the first. I just go to Wikipedia. Or the um, author's website. Yeah. Is there a book tracker, though, that'll do that? Well, so let me, what he's talking about is something like ITV, which I had never heard of, and I was very excited. Have you heard of ITV? Um, you can take a look at it on here. So it's a way to to know what you need to watch. So here are all the shows that um, I need to watch, and it's going to tell me, like, what you need to watch oh. next, right? So like, Oh, oh I like okay, that. So How does it know? Um, well, I went it. through, let's see, I went through the trending shows, and I, you don't have to tell it what's first, but I was like, okay, what, what's popular? But you what have to tell I? what you've watched. Like, I can't ever remember which episode I should just pick up on. Right. So, yeah, it doesn't know. You you tell it. So, let's say um, I want to start watching Friends. I never watched that, and I can so add that. So, I have to rely to on the device I'm using to remember or, or I, the service I'm using to remember yeah, what, or you, where I am. Yes, like Netflix, obviously, well, if, yeah. or whatever you're watching on it, but you can keep you know, it all. It's strange so. about Netflix, though. What's strange I don't know about if you've noticed this lately, but their organization is, you know, it should really just start with con return, resume watching. Mm -hmm. It should be at the very top. It's not. It's buried somewhere. Oh, I have noticed that too because they're trying to recommend other stuff to you. There's like yes. ads and stuff. And then, but if, okay, fine. If you do that, make a bar that is Netflix originals. Yeah. That's, if there is one, it's buried also. Their organ the organization on the categories is messed up. So if you go, like, here's Game of Thrones. and I've, This looks I've better. Watched, this would be a better way to do it. Um, so you can look and read. And you can read the synopsis. And it's free, but, like, they'll it. link to, you know, buy things. So. the letter I TV or E-Y-E? Uh, I, I TV. So, um, so, yeah. So I know that I just watched the first season of Game of Thrones. So I can click that, and it says, check all previous episodes as watched. Yes. So I'll know that the next episode I want to watch, if I ever decide that I want to watch Game of Thrones again, is season two, episode one. Um, I can add them to a calendar, so I can say here are the. Sh or I guess this is the shows that have aired, so I can know what my what, shows are. A, uh, I TV. How do you spell I? Uh, letter I. So it, maybe it's just an iPhone app. Here, maybe let me share it with you. <laughs> uh, no, there's I. Is it ITV, ITV shows? shows? Sorry, yes. It's three dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Okay. I'm not gonna buy it. You're not gonna buy it. Well, I don't know. What is it gonna do for me? True. I don't know what it's going to do for you. It's going to, I mean, you can keep all your shows here. And <laughs> I keep my, I think you can I do keep that my shows Apple where TV. I can watch them. And yeah, the, what about the TV app on the, uh, on the Apple yeah, TV? That's pretty, that's that. a pretty good Okay, app. so, so he was looking for something like that, but for sci-fi. And I, um, I reached out to Tom Merritt, who is a sci-fi fan and author. And the host of Sword and Laser, the sci-fi podcast. Mm -hmm. um, and he recommended. See, Apple TV does this, what iTV does. I'm looking at the Apple TV app. And it shows me where I am. Can you show it? Thank you. Shows me where I am in the various shows I'm watching, how much I've watched. I'm not watching Rambo. Then why did it show that? My son, I think oh. we can't figure it out. Lisa and I can't figure out why Rambo suddenly showed up. <laughs> but this, so this kind of does what ITV does, but it ties into everything except Netflix. So that's okay, the Apple so, TV app. Oh, everything, but it doesn't tie into Netflix. No. That stinks. But then I don't have to enter stuff, though, because it knows what I've watched. Mm. See? It knows I'm watching at my next episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm, Season 2, Episode 7. And like that. And my next episode of The Office, Season 2, Episode 10. Like that. You know, and I've watched half of 300, which is about 150. 
Okay, so what Tom recommended was Goodreads. Goodreads is fabulous. Mm -hmm. Owned by Amazon. I use Goodreads. So um, what's a good, let's see, what's a good sci-fi series? Um, Lion, Do the, the Wardrobe? Uh, no. It's a good sci-fi <laughs> series. Because that's one that you don't know which order to read it in. Fantasy? Sorry. <laughs> Why? Why are you crying? That's a kid's book. It's a good book. It's not a bad book. But it's one that people don't what know. What about the uh, elevation? What is it? The elevation saga? What is that long saga they're doing on sci fi right oh, now? Eight. Yeah. That's a that's a good one. Not it not all Annihilation? Carbon. No, I think it's ele el Annihilation? No. No. Annihilation. Chat room will know. You know. <laughs> I'll keep saying the that. The saga. The elevate saga. I want to say elevate saga. It's not the elevate saga. The elevator oh. saga. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Um, Burke, give us a sci-fi recommendation. And Leo promises not to make fun of you like he did me. Expanse. That's it? Yeah, Expanse. that's what you were thinking that's of. That's the one that's I'm thinking of. That's what I was of. thinking of, too. The Expanse so saga. I typed in Expanse. Take a look at this, Kevin. Shh, elevate. Uh, and then it tells me, here's the Expanse. Because this, this has, like, more books than Carter's got little liver pills. So you really do want to read this one in order. Right. And it'll tell you which order to read it. But, no, but, Goodreads is so great. It Gods also gives... Of Risk, Expanse 2.5. What is oh, that? It goes on and on and on. 0 0.2? What? <laughs> it's not in order? Well, no. It, uh, I don't know what 0 0.2 means. Maybe that's a prequel. Could be. I don't know. But obviously, it's in the order. Wh um, what does it say the first one is? It's the Levi Leviathan, Leviathan Wakes. That's the right. Leviathan, Leviathan Wakes. Wakes. That's the, that's the, that's the yeah, first one. Yeah, somebody recommended this book to it's me. very good. And I got it. Um, and I haven't read it yet. Me too. <laughs> It's very good. I but, read about four pages. But I want to read, so I'm going to put it on my want to read. I use Goodreads all the time. And, I love Goodreads. And I marked it as want to read. It's owned by Amazon. There's only one kvetch I have about Goodreads. It's owned by Amazon. Did you? Did I mention it's owned by Amazon? You did. You why really doesn't did. it import all of my Amazon audio books in? Oh, uh, yeah. Why doesn't it? That's you a know? good question. Because I, I, I think it'll import your Kindle purchases, won't it? Or will it? Well, it feels like it should. It should. The other thing is um, that Tom pointed out, like it's very manual. Which is that's your yeah, problem it too. Like yeah. I, I have not um, kept up on it. Are we? Are we Goodreads friends? I want to be your Goodreads friend. I should be yours because you have good taste. Goodreads. Goodreads. Let me see if it knows me. <laughs> Do you know me, Goodreads? Oh, there we are. I'm adding you as a friend. Oh, well, oh pending. You have to. You have to approve I'll, my I'll request. Approve. All right, I don't remember my... I guess I could sign it with Amazon, okay. right? That's probably um, the right thing to do. I'll, I'll take a look at what you've been reading. Oh, look, at you've been reading The Odyssey by Homer? Yes. You're currently reading The Odyssey? Have you ever heard of that? Yes, I have. One of the it's first, a sci-fi series. One of the first books, it's I one think. Of, one of the, one of the Lion and the Witch in the Wardrobe books. Yeah, well, there's this thing with... Welcome, yeah, okay, it's... Because so, you, you're reading books. that Track the books you've read and want to read. book, and it's not in here. I haven't updated that yet. But you should. It should just know. Scan my library. Oh, so you have to. You can scan your books in. Yeah, you That's have to hold useless. them up to your. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that I'm uh, okay. And then you can see what people, your friends, are reading and get recommendations. Mm -hmm. I actually like this a lot. I have not. I've, How's the Italian baker? Uh, that is one of the best books uh, for cooking Italian baked goods. Oh. Fallen Dragon, how is that? Very good. One of my favorites. That's one I recommend a lot. So you could tell I haven't really updated this in a while. Mm -hmm. Still Denying Death, I assume. That's a great book. Do not knock the denial of death. Okay, I want to read Someday, it. Someday, you it do want to read it. That is one of the best books ever written. Everybody should read that, especially when they get to past, say, 40. I'm not past 40 I know yet. you got lots of time. Don't <laughs> worry. You can read it later in life. Um. Yeah, I really should just look through this because then we, I don't have to talk to you or ask you to recommend books. <laughs> yeah, why talk to me when you yeah. can just look at my Goodreads? No, Goodreads is great. I really like Goodreads. All right. So I can't that, find my that's account. what I got for oh, you. Oh, I have a separate account. That's why. Well, I have. Look. No, I, I logged in with my oh, Amazon at, account and that was a mistake. Tells us all our mutual friends. Yeah. Tom, Glenn. Yeah. This guy. Yeah. Who's that guy. That guy. Kirk Anthony Karnak. Nelson. <laughs> he Kirk used to work Karnak here. He's our friend. Kirk Karnak, yeah. Paul. I don't know who Paul is, but he's our mutual friend. <laughs> um, let's see what Paul, our mutual friend, is reading. Um, economics lesson one. Oh, he's so good Goodreads. Too. If you if you do if you find a series like the Expanse series, it will you can you can it will tell you what's next basically, and it'll keep track. But it's it is manual. That is the that is the drawback. Mm -hmm. 
It isn't. It's not an automatic system. But I, I like it. I use Goodreads all the time. I like. I had forgotten about it. So thank yeah. you for Tom. For Amazon bought them. Uh, I used them for a long time, um, and then Amazon bought them, and uh, that's why it's not my Amazon account because I used it before I was in Amazon. Yeah, me too. Yeah. All right, so uh, Kevin Berg, who writes us very often, he's a tech, uh, a tech technician, a computer technician. He um, last week you said that Apple never updates iWork. Right. He says. Well, they update it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They fix bugs, but they haven't updated the version. Okay. Go ahead. Read what he says. He says uh, uh, the new features every year and they push out maintenance updates as needed. <laughs> new features? Like what? <laughs> he says, I actually switched to iWork app several okay. months ago okay. because Microsoft wasn't adding the drag and drop feature of iOS 11. They finally added oh, it a few true. weeks ago, yeah, but it yeah. was late that's in my opinion. Yeah. After switching, I noticed how much smoother the iWork apps ran on my iPad compared to Microsoft app Office apps. iWork apps are free on both iOS and Mac OS not to mention the web versions on iCloud.com. So might as well try it. Yes. I mean, you you don't you weren't gonna. Yeah, waste it's worth any a try. Money. Yeah. 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 Uh, last week we talked about um, the Heart app on your iPhone. We both um, participated in the Heart study, and Frank asked uh, after watching your show and downloading your pick of the week. My wife was wondering if eighty nine was a high sample for eleven days. <laughs> She's a 40-year-old school teacher. I was wondering if they sample her more because she's constantly closing her rings on her watch daily. She wanted to compare notes with you. So this is, he sent me a picture it's of her. It's not a competition, folks. It's, everything's a competition. Yeah, isn't that funny? You so, did the same thing. 89 data contributions. That seems like a lot. It was days. more than, let me let me just see what you and I uh, have gotten up to. Because remember, we were comparing before. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 25 in 14 days. She has 89 in 11 days. And I mean, she's 40, so she's younger than... Both of us. I wonder if that's part of it. How many do you have? 25 and 14 days. Wow. Okay, we have a, our friend Ski wrote us. Our friend Ski? <laughs> our friend Ski. That's our his name, Ski. Hi, Ski. Uh, do you remember I had that smudge on my HomePod? Yes. He suggested um, Q-tips and liquid bleach. Oh, no. Very bad idea. Okay. I haven't tried it yet. No, it's, it's highly caustic. Oh. Yeah. And by the way, I don't think that that's a white covering. I think it's more like a strawish or linen covering. Okay. I mean, if you bleach it, you're not going to have a black spot. You're going to have a big white spot. Okay. I don't it's know much. if that's, I get, you know, I don't, bleach seems like a bad idea. Okay. Plus it's going to smell like bleach for the rest of your life. I like the smell of bleach. Really? Yeah. It smells clean. I just have it turned away from the front i think you could probably with warm soapy water okay well, I'll, I'll, try, I'll try that first i haven't tried i would anything. not use something as okay. caustic as bleach okay good to know oxyclean that's what web 7 one says <laughs> simple green i don't know okay so here's a suggestion you might like bob from saint charles writes i was playing with the drafts app today love it and discovered that it works with the workflow it app. Sure does. You can make your own actions in drafts that run on a workflow. Yes, you can. There's even a directory of them. Drafts is one of those tools, and it was an app cap a while ago, and we've talked about it. Talk Renee, about Renee Ritchie's talked about it on Vector. Mm -hmm. It's something that is very deep. So you want to really look at it, and especially look at actions other people have programmed. It has a lot of capability. Uh, the more you, the more you. Uh, work with it the more powerful it can get yeah so the yeah you could actually so the the main purpose of drafts is you have it on your watch or your phone and just when you think of something you go ah oh, yeah i need a workflow to remind me to watch tv tonight i don't really need that no but see now i've dictated it and it's in my watch it then goes to my iphone or my uh my ipad and i can act upon it and then now, I don't have set up, uh, I have a lot of stuff set up. Like I could, I send that as a text to you instantly, for instance, um, and reminders and stuff. But you could add a, a workflow. And one of the things that's really cool is if you visit their action directory, which is on the website, uh, the Agile Tortoise website, you'll see they have a huge number of apps and actions they support. These are all the apps which means that you can quickly enter into, you know, send to an app uh, all sorts of stuff. And Workflow, which is that automation app that people um, know well, has 
uh, you can actually send a run workflow. So you could say you could say a workflow and run it and send it to it through drafts very quickly. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Text to clip, rich text to clipboard, add events with workflow. Very, very nice. But it's worth digging into this whole drafts action directory. There's so much stuff in here. Yeah, that's it's my, my bucket list is yeah. to so use it's, drafts. It's good to spend some more time with it, yeah. Um, all right. Mm -hmm. It is time now to look into the camera in your house. Oh, you want to? Sure. See if anybody's there. <laughs> do you have your lighthouse at home? I do. I have okay. one. We have one here and at home. I love lighthouse. The idea of lighthouse is it's more than a camera. It's really kind of like um, it's, it's got 3D. It's got AI. It is basically um, so. Here's my office. Right, we're looking at the lighthouse in my office. Ooh. Okay. Now I can say I want to see when people were in my office. I can get a daily recap, which is great. Nobody's been in my office uh, since I left. It. The, by the way, this is one of the things I love about it, and one of the things Lisa loves about it. You can have the lighthouse turn on when you leave the house and turn off when you get home. So Lisa's always doesn't like the idea of cameras snooping on us. But when Lisa or I or anybody I have added to the app get home, it turns off. Uh, you can get pinged when there's person-related activity, when all invited users are gone. Uh, I can have a ping, and I do get when Lisa comes home. When children are in the house, pets, it knows the difference in pets and people because it has a LiDAR sensor on it, a time-of-flight LiDAR sensor on it. So it has a 3D image of the room plus the artificial intelligence. Look at things you can ask it. It's so cool. You can say, notify me if Lisa arrives before noon tomorrow. Ping me when you see the dog and kids together. It has, I mean, I know, it's really cool. Uh, it has, for instance, you can say things like, um, what did the cat do yesterday? And it will go through all the videos. Nope, the cat wasn't in my room yesterday. Oh. We'll go through all the videos of cat wandering through my room which has been a problem we found one of our cats i mentioned this before hamilton has gone kind of wild we thought we hadn't seen him in days lisa was really worried about him the lighthouse sees him coming in oh. right after we leave every day around 11 he knows we're at work he eats he relaxes and then he leaves before we get home <laughs> and he sleeps somewhere else <laughs> That is awesome. There's a feature in Lighthouse if your kids go don't if your kids don't have a smartphone and they wave at the lighthouse like this, the lighthouse will ping me and say, "Michael's waving," and then oh. it has a speaker and microphone. I can talk to him. It is so awesome. 1080p HD, automatic night vision, two-way talk. It has a security siren in it. Pairs to your Wi-Fi, so it's, and it's very easily done. Uh, you can have the camera turn off and on. Either manually or, I love this, yeah, the house basically arms as soon as you leave. There's the dog knowing he can now. There, look how cute it is, too. You'll, you'll put these all over your house. It, it is bank-level encryption, too, for your video data. You've got 30 days of video history, and you can search it with questions, like I just did. Uh, uh, show me all the times Michael used my office, for instance. I, my lighthouse also watches the front door. It watches my office and then it watches the front door. So I can also say, when did people come home? Ping me when someone with the dog between noon and two comes in when I'm not there for the dog walker. All sorts of things. Lighthouse is smart too. I don't get a lot of, unlike most of my other uh, IoT devices, you just saw, I don't know if you saw, when I was looking at my lighthouse, the Roomba said, Roomba needs attention. Oh, I hate the Roomba. Um <laughs> With the light, see how he waved, and he can show you. It's so cool. Uh, it doesn't ping you unnecessarily with. Uh, it's it, it can tell the difference between people and mylar balloons, for instance, <laughs> which I had a problem with some other cameras. No more farce alerts because of shadows or pets. It knows what is a person. It knows what's an animal. Light dot house is the website. If you use the promo code twit, you get fifteen percent off a lighthouse camera. Early customers get ninety days of AI service at no cost. I uh, this is the best camera I've ever used. This thing is so smart. We've got two of them. See that? It's a mag. Oh, ooh, doesn't do that. Don't worry. <laughs> That's they're just showing all the parts inside. It's really smart. It's got that time of flight uh, sensor in the front there, as well as a very good quality camera. And you can get fifteen percent off and ninety days of AI service at no cost when you go to light dot house, l i g h t dot house. If I ever see somebody drinking my milk like that, busted, <laughs> busted light. Dot house, 15% off with the promo code 
twit. This is really a cool device. It's private. It's secure. It's, mm -hmm. You're not sending data to some other big company. Uh, these guys are really great, and they know their stuff. They, a couple of engineers uh, came from um, the DARPA Grand Challenge. They were teaching cars to drive without drivers and stuff. Really smart AI guys and camera guys. Light.house. Use the offer code TWIT for 15% off. Mm. Love my lighthouse. Oh, is it time? It's Where'd time. you get that hat? I, I, Burke just gave it to me. You know, I saw it in my office. That's for that's for riders. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily fit on my head. Uh, it's for jockeys, perhaps, who have smaller heads than me. But where did you get it, Burke? He can't. He can't tell me because it probably. It's his head. He has a All connection. Right. Well, you look like a jockey. I look like a racetrack tout. Yeah, so we're perfectly so, matched yeah, today. Exactly. Is your. <laughs> that's a riding helmet. Yeah. That's nice. I'm, I'm going to just wear it around all the time for I'm safety. Sorry it doesn't fit. Yeah. It's probably, it's, uh, as you said, a jockey's. The, yeah. Helmet. Also, I have a bun, so it might just not fit over the bun. <laughs> not is, supposed is that to ride right, with a or bun. Is that, the is that on backwards? I feel like that might be backwards. I don't know. <laughs> look better that way. Yeah, I looks, still look like a racetrack. I think top. it looks good both ways, hey, but there's a hey, seam. Crazy boys. What? No, okay, that's so that's the wrong one. Uh, <laughs> luck be a lady tonight. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can do that at the end of the show. This is the time in the show where we wear caps because we talk about our favorite apps. Caps for apps. App, apps for sale. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this, it's funny that you were talking about Lighthouse, our sponsor. This is not our sponsor, but this is sort of a lighthouse for your this car. This is in my car. That's so funny. It's, you got yeah, your owl. I, yes, the owl dash cam. It, Love um, it. It's a great camera. It films the outside and the inside of your car. It's good for security or just for fun. No, this isn't really an app because you got to buy the hardware, but this is yeah, the app that goes the with app, the hardware. This is, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm sort of cheating a little bit, but it is the app that I've been most using. So right now I can look at the inside of my car live. Um, it's the last 24 hours using Wi-Fi. Look at mine. I think, oh, you got to, It's okay, raining you outside. Look, yeah, you're looking actually at my car. I'm looking at the Twit Studio. And, <laughs> yeah. So this is at the front. Now what's cool is you can also, it has, a, it's dual cameras. You can look both ways. Yeah. Why and see that microphone button? If somebody's driving your car, you go, hey, mm -hmm. what are you doing? And it scares the hell out of them. If I turn the light on, it's got a bright light inside the car. And so this is really useful if somebody breaks into the car. Mm -hmm. If somebody smashes and grabs the car, uh, you're, you will have clear video of it. And they'll get a little warning because that bright light comes on too. Mm -hmm. I really, I really like this. I do too. Yeah. Do you like it, really? It was easy to install, right? It was, yeah, super easy to install. Um, and, and we have a little bit of a video that we can show from us reviewing it. Um, but I, I do want to show you first that I did use the mic. Have you used the microphone yet? Yeah, I used it to talk to Lisa. It scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I used it to talk to my dog. Oh. So yesterday someone was cleaning our house, so I had to take the dog to work. And it, it looks very hot, but it's not. Don't worry. He wasn't in a hot car. So there he is sleeping in the car. I'll play. I saved this clip from yesterday. And then I used the microphone to talk to him. And you can see he heard me and he's what looking around. What the hell is going on? <laughs> the car's talking to me. Yeah. Um, and it was really helpful because I just told him, you know, Gilbert, it's okay. I'll be out in a second. Um. Do you have any other videos that you um, can show here? I, I have some clips. You want to yeah. see uh, clips of us uh, driving along, singing a song side mm -hmm. by side? Yeah. Uh, this is, uh, let's see, what are these clips? <laughs> I have some that... Um, I don't know what these are. This looks like, I don't... Oh, that's me. Tapping the camera. <laughs> that's giant hand. <laughs> There he is, <laughs> giant hand is tapping the camera. I accidentally recorded myself. <laughs> oh, Burke just wiped off your windshield. You missed him. Did it oh, alert you? Look, <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty good. Oh, uh, you can laugh at yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but what, one of the fun things about this is if you say "Okay, presto," right, it'll start recording. It, yeah, it doesn't constantly. It records like a second before. So yeah, here I am asleep at the wheel. Here's some. Here's some popular ones. Oh, you're yeah. <laughs> With the dog. So the idea there. is, if you had an accident, you'd have video not only of the accident, but right. of what you were doing. If you wanted to prove you weren't looking at your phone, mm -hmm. something like that. And then yeah, you can record out the front too. If like something falls off a truck Ooh, in look front at this. of you. Whoa. Oh. oh. 
That's there's you with your beard. No, this is a good one. This is called Unlucky Good Samaritan. You want to watch this one? Yeah. This is a uh, from Owl. Oh, chill. Hit him. <laughs> Winged him. <laughs> he doesn't look too happy either. But he's got video of it, which is kind of cool. So, um, so here's this... the owl clip of the day. You want to see oh, a yeah. little accident? Oh. See, I'm. it's really mostly useful if something bad happens. Like somebody does something dumb like that. Boom. Oh, yeah. So wow. it's $350, so not cheap, but it's a really good camera. It has... I'm going to um, upload this to Reddit. No, no, no. <laughs> The camera is very good. As you can see, the quality is good enough to read license plates. It's a 4K camera. And that's important with a dash cam. You want to be able to read the license plates of people who are cutting you off, things like mm -hmm. that. Um, it's not too expensive, 350 yeah. bucks. Uh, with that, you get one year of LTE. It has LTE built in. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, Kevin, you can show the video from the screensavers. I have the link in there so that people can get a look at what it actually looks like. This is our like. driveway. We actually went uh, to pick up. So this is us driving down the road. And, uh, yeah, you were on the show when we did yeah. this, right? Well, I yeah. meant you could take a look at what the camera itself looks yeah. like. Because ours so are this both stuck in our car. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> you get the idea. That's the size of it. That's actually, uh, and it's iOS only, I think, right now. Yeah. <clears throat> but I really, uh, I'm glad to have that. I, I, I've got more cameras in my life now. I know. Nothing, I really you can't get away with anything. I got the Ring Video Doorbell, another sponsor out front. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, the... The spotlight cams around the back. I got the lighthouse in the house, and now in the car, I've got cameras. If you'd asked me a few years ago, well, you you know, I would have been shocked. But I just kind of you get hooked on the idea that you can see what's going on. Owl uses the OBD port, the onboard mm -hmm. diagnostic port, to charge it. See, there's the little thing that plugs into your OBD port, and the reason they do that is it, unlike a cigarette lighter. First of all, you can install it a little more cleanly. You can trim the wires around. In fact, I you know it was very easy. They give you a little poking tool to get the wires out of the site. So it looks like it's a really, you know, clean install, but also it's always on, mm -hmm. but doesn't drain your battery. So. Yeah, I like it. Um, and uh, someone in the chat room is saying, Eric Duckman is saying, I already have something in my OBD port. But as we discovered when we did this, there Amazon will sell you. There are OBD splitters. Yeah, it's yeah. an OBD splitter. Yeah, so I probably would not recommend it for somebody who's already using something like Automatic, our, our earlier sponsor, things like that. But I, I really like the it's app, nice. and it's new, so they're improving it all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, they need, need some improvement. There's some a little, a little you could tell it's early days. Mm -hmm. There's a few little hitches mm -hmm. in the get-along. Like the GPS doesn't seem to work very well. Does your GPS work? Uh, like it doesn't know Does where. Does it know where you are? Um, See if it knows where your car is right now. Well, uh, did it show? Yeah, I guess it does. Yeah, maybe, it knows maybe right yours where is my working. car is. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they fixed that because it wasn't working for a while for that's, me. That's also, every once in a while, I get alerts from the owl that the car is too hot. And I know it's not. Oh, really? And it says, I'm shutting down. It's too hot in here. It's oh, I haven't. Ha Mine has shut down, but it hasn't told me why it's shut down. But um, it has. Shut yeah, it's early days. But I mean, this, uh, this, the hardware is really nice. And I think any updates will probably be able to come yeah. just over the air through yeah. software. But. So did you, I finally saw, and I know you did and loved it, Black Panther. Yes. $1 billion in ticket sales so far. It's, I think, going to be <laughs> Wakanda. It's going to be the most successful. Actually, there's a whole, they're, 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 it's so cleverly marketed. Are we going to do because that? Because we do the Soul Shake. Uh-huh. And then we do Wakanda. Uh-huh. And they're, so they're adding Wakanda to the Soul Handshake. Oh. So you're going to watch. Okay, Kids good. will be doing yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Um, so Black Panther is another Marvel comic book movie. And you know I'm not a fan of comic book movies. I, I, they just seem like to be a lot of senseless action. Some of them are really better Love than others. Love senseless action. <laughs> I like Doctor Strange. Uh, some of them are really good. Did you ever see Wonder Woman? Uh, yeah, I saw bits of pieces of it. It was okay. But it's actually, this is a new trend, isn't it, in these uh, comic book movies of, of social activism yes. in a way, right? Because mm -hmm. the women in Black Panther are very strong. Mm -hmm. Uh, and smart. It's, and smart, as are the Africans. It's really great. So, um, and, uh, you know, so I think it's a good, I'm really thrilled with the movie. I really enjoyed it. I, yeah, I do want to see it again. But I thought, you know, I probably should read the original comic books. And you can. And you can do it with a, a program from Marvel. This is actually the original Black Panther. Buck 99 if you want to buy it. But they also have a bunch of free more modern Black Panthers. Actually, the old Black Panther from 1966 is kind of dated. 
This is Marvel's comic book app. It's based on Comixology, I believe, which is nice. See how it's doing the frame by frame? Or you can pinch it down and see the whole page if you're you know, a purist and you want to see it like you did when you were a kid. But I love the ability to scroll like this. I feel like this, is a this makes the iPad a great comic book reading mm -hmm. tool. And, of course, uh, Marvel has a lot of comics. There's a Mar there are two Marvel apps. There's a Marvel Unlimited app that's 10 bucks a month for everything Marvel publishes with a few exceptions. And then this where you actually buy comics or you, or you do the free stuff that they offer. Um, let's see. I can show you the book page by page, which is kind of nice. What's there at the end with all the words? That's letters to the editor. Oh. You never read a comic book, have you? Nope. <laughs> In your whole life. I what like it, what it is movies. missing, I'm sad to say, is the ads at the back. Maybe this one didn't have ads at the back. Uh, so you can buy Buck 99 a book or you can buy a series. You can also, uh, let me go back to my uh, books. They have a number of downloads. So this is what I didn't know and I've learned since. Ta-Nehisi Coates, who uh, is a really fabulous, uh, what, is, what? he's a writer. Mm -hmm. He wrote uh, a really great book kind of a manifesto for uh, African-Americans. Uh, uh, for his, They actually wrote for his son, but it's between mm -hmm. my son and me, something like that, right? Yeah. Letters remember, to my son. I can't remember the name of it. I can't either. But he's writing Black Panther now. And this has come a long way uh, since the 60s. This is this is this year's Black Panther. Um, but you can also get the, the kind of the classical Black Panther uh, series from the 90s. I really like this. Between the world and Between me. Between the world and me. That's right. I can't remember. Which anything. I highly recommend. That that's in my Goodreads. I'm sure. I hope. Uh, so this is, and these were a lot of these Black Panther uh, series were free. They're obviously thinking, well, this is a way to get a lot of people to download our app, and they were right. They were absolutely right. Here's a. Let's see if these are the. I think these are the. Yeah. This is this is this these are really actually quite entertaining. I don't know if you're a comic book fan, but if you're a Black Panther fan, I think reading uh, some of the original comic books and then now some of the newest stuff is uh, really a lot of fun. Wakanda has been infiltrated by the artificial intelligence known as Machine Smith. T'Challa, king and protector of his people as the Black Panther has dispatched his elite Wakandan student scientists to join the renowned collection of inventors known as the Takumi Masters to stop the spread of the biotechnic invasion. It's fun. Oh, I was going to read the girl part. <laughs> there are no girls in comics. There what are you, was, crazy? You missed her. What are you, nuts? <laughs> um, Look, he drives a nice Lexus. Yeah, that's the Panther Mobile. So this is quite a bit updated from the 1966. It's kind of fun to read the, uh, the original as, as well. Um, if you look in the store, though, there's quite a bit of uh, Black Panther stuff. In fact, there's quite a bit of stuff in general. They have sales all the time. Now, it's Marvel. So you can't get your DC comics. Can't right? get your Superman. Can't you get your Batman. For that, you want Comixology. Uh, but this is... But Marvel now is a lot of stuff. And with all the Marvel movies coming out, this is certainly one. The app is free. And the point being that they have a lot of stuff uh, in the free section. Just tap free. And you'll see there's a lot of free comics. So if you've got a kid, or you're maybe a kid at heart, and you like to read uh, your your graphic novels, there, this is a great way to uh, do it. Absolutely free if you do the free stuff, and then it's a buck ninety nine per book, or you can buy series, of course. And I think a nice way to read it. Look at all of this. this is all free. So, all new Wolverine. Oh. Mm-hmm. Amazing Spider Man. Are Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel, or are they yes. DC? Yes, I think, no, I don't know, are they? Yes. No? Oh. They're Marvel. But I Wonder thought. Woman is DC. Yes. Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And, you can, you know, Comixology is, is kind of, uh, I think I have that here, too. Yeah. Kind of the same idea. They, I, don't, have, they don't have unlimited. And they're Marvel. owned by Amazon now. Yeah. yeah. The Marvel Unlimited is a whole nother app. <laughs> Oh, that's a that's, we were just looking at Marvel. Yeah, we buy them. that's ten dollars a month, but you get everything that Marvel does. Oh, goodness so gracious! So you have to, those are three different apps. I think they're all based on Comixology. I think they're all the same platform, so they all run about the same way. Uh, but you can see you get a free week if you want to try Marvel Unlimited. That's probably be enough to read all the Black Panther stuff. I love the movie. Recommend everybody see it. It's a lot of fun. And if you want to see some of the backstory, you can you can read many of the current more current. 
Black Panther stuff, but you can also, and I did, but for a buck ninety nine, if you want to read the original, it's kind of fun to go back in time and see the original Black Panther where he first appeared with the Fantastic Four back in the sixties. Those were the days. Those. That's when comic books were comical. Did you ever write to the to the editor of a comic book? Did you ever no. write a letter? <laughs> no, I read comic books when I was a kid. Uh, but I'm not one of those guys, you know, there, you meet people all the time and they had comic book collections their mom threw out and that kind of thing. I wasn't, wasn't that serious about it. All right. Speaking of serious, we've seriously finished this show. About time. Mm -hmm. It's really, I'm embarrassed because we have serious comic book fans and Renee Ritchie and Jason Snell, Andy and Akko, they're probably mocking me right now. Mm -hmm. But uh, probably I'm are. just, I'm a newcomer to it. Yeah. But thank you for watching. Yes. I appreciate it. I was today, every Tuesday, 9 a.m. Pacific ish. And you can watch it or listen to it anytime you want. On demand, we call it. Mm -hmm. I demand you watch it. Mm -hmm. We demand that you watch it in the podcast catcher of your choice. Or you can ask your HomePod to play iOS Today podcast. Or you can ask your Echo to play iOS Today on TuneIn. Or you can ask your mom to turn on iOS today on your app, on your Apple TV, or wherever. And write me, Megan at twit.tv. Send your questions, send videos, send comments, corrections to things I said that were totally wrong. I want to hear it all. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We'll see you next time on iOS today. Bye-bye. Look, be a lady tonight. <laughs>